I think VA employees are really proud of what they do. It's an honor to take care of veterans because I feel like I'm taking care of my own brothers and sisters. And we want to make sure our veterans are taken care of. It gives you an opportunity to give back. The National VA Council is a coalition of nearly 200,000 VA employees at AFGE locals in all 50 states and Puerto Rico. We fight to improve working conditions and the quality of care. Fight to protect your rights and improve your standard of living. Fight to keep VA facilities open and privatization stopped. Fight to ensure that every veteran, every wounded warrior, receives the world-class health care and services they have a right to expect from a nation grateful for their service. The Federation does three things for the people that we represent. We can legislate for them, we can negotiate for them, and we can litigate for them. And uh, you're liable to need all three of those things uh, as long as you're in federal service. If we didn't have AFGE, I don't know where we would be today because the AFG has saved a lot of benefits, jobs, and working conditions for all employees that work under AFG. When you look at um, possible injustice as related to uh, discipline that may, might not have occurred at all in your career, you can thank AFGE. Being a part of this organization, you have that protective covering of knowing that your rights are going to be protected that your voice will be heard, and I believe that um, we're stronger together. AFGE's National VA Council is so essential because those who serve the cause of helping America's heroes are often under attack from those who play politics with our jobs. We fight back for VA employees, laying out the facts, correcting the record, and working for the changes our members need making clear how the dedication and hard work of VA employees is often ill-served by poor management, political gamesmanship, and the failure of Congress to provide proper funding. The problem what we have now is that we're made told to do things, but no money to do it with. We didn't have good equipment, we didn't have enough staff, we were overworked. The people doing the work are, are feeling this pressure, and it, it it is quite a heavy burden. And there's always been a need to give the employees that, that shoulder to lean on. The VA Council has always put themselves out front as a representative for the employees. You know, I had that attitude that what I need a union for. And then I started realizing that as being a part of an organization as large as AFGE, even at the local level, that um, there were some things that they can offer me. When I was representing like 70 employees, um, it was hard for me to get meetings with management. Our bargaining unit now is 400 dues paying members. Management knows that. If you have problems, we are always there. If we can't actually do the job ourselves, we will find somebody who can. And, and they can always believe that AFGE will have their back. AFGE represents nearly 200,000 employees at the Department of Veterans Affairs. Whenever you get such a large demographic, there's always going to be pockets of injustice. AFGE has been on the forefront of representing employees. Um, uh, we constantly raise the issues of the uh, disproportionate shift with upper management um, gaining in numbers of positions at the expense of the people that are at the bedside working with the veterans. I've nationally negotiated MOUs, Memorandum of Understandings, which protect the employees' rights. Making sure that the employees are not overworked, making sure that there's still 12 hours in between their shifts, making sure that where there are overtime issues, that management and, and the local unions address those at the appropriate level. My job as the VA lobbyist is to make sure Congress hears our concerns. And because the VA Council has a lobbyist dedicated just to VA issues, I have access to a, a many opportunities on the Hill to bring those concerns effectively to them. I think we've been successful in quite a few things. Uh, the privatization has been going on for years. 
we, we haven't been able to stop it, but we've been able to slow it down. One of the things that we do a lot at the VA is when we testify, we get real people from the field to come and tell their story. Um, and I think it's really been compelling for members of Congress to hear that contractors have been allowed to take so many of the jobs of the people that mow and trim and set headstones, but do it with such love and dedication because these are veterans on trying to honor the shrines of their fallen comrades. We're benefiting in the VA from a whole package of new laws that are really leveling the playing field for federal employees. After years of advocacy by AFGE, President Barack Obama signed the Veterans Health Care Budget Reform Act, transforming the way the VA receives its funding and enabling the department to better plan for its future. Well, if you had the funding, you can do more hiring. We are doing these things at the uh, local level, intermediate level, and national level, representing you, getting more money in your pocket, and protecting your job at the work site. I have a son who, who's served in uh, Kuwait, and as well as in Iraq. Under the new GI Bill, because he went to Iraq after the change, he's able to now be able to get his education at any educational institution throughout the country, and they'll pay him for his whole education. Our pay, our benefits, our job security, our hours, our working conditions, our rights, our ability to care for our veterans. All of these are strengthened when you become a member of AFGE's National VA Council. And you empower yourself through bargaining, representation, legislative action, and the force of solidarity. It makes me proud knowing that we have protected their rights giving them um, benefits and protection that they would not have if the union was not in place. When you get your annual pay raise every year, thank AFGE. We have a special purpose. We're the only group of federal workers that serve veterans. The value of being in labor is being one of uh, individuals where there's strength in numbers. Once you join the union, that's your second family. You need to come join us. We will always be there to serve you. We will always be there to help you. And we will always do a good job.